Hey everybody, Mike here from Mr. Mike's Hobby Channel coming to you this afternoon uh, with a little unboxing video from just a nice little delivery that I got today. And let's see what we got uh, from Amazon. A few goodies, uh, some things I was waiting for. For Actually one's just for fun, for you know playing around with, but a couple other things for hobby applications. Uh, so let's see. So... What I got today is, I got this little bad boy, came today. Got him on Amazon, 40 bucks, a nice 10 pack. Uh, I'm gonna go into a little detail on this later, a little bit later. Um, just fun little toys, something to play with, something more to play with, so to speak. So here we go, put that aside. So what else did I order? Uh, I posted on the East Coast US Gun Club Builder page these items that I picked up. Um, what are these? These are nail polish bottles. Empty glass polish bottles for nail art. Why did I get these? Um, so if anyone's seen the oil brushers from Ammo, I got the idea from that as far as this goes. Um, <clears throat> it's a it basically looks like a mascara tube with a thin brush in it, and then it has thinned out oil paint for applying weathering effects. So that's the idea here. Um, these were, I think, seven bucks for six. And what I'm going to do with these is transfer. I was thinking of making my own oil wash for it, but I'm wondering if maybe I should just transfer over some of my existing enamel products into this bottle. So what is it? It's a little nail bottle. It's glass and it has a fine point brush built into it for application. I don't know if you can see how well you can see that. I hate these cameras. Anyway, you get the idea. So, I'm going to try that out. My thoughts are to have a couple of these Wilder products. Uh, this is Diesel Exhaust Runs Effect. This one's a little thick, but it'd be cool to have this just in a bottle where I could just whip it out and apply it in precision places. Uh, the other one is more for a panel lining filter. This is a uh, gray brown, and this looks actually really cool compared to like standard gray. I don't know how well you can see it on the shoulder there, but if you can see, it looks pretty cool. Uh, that's my test, my little crappy test model. It, it's a nice color because it's like, well, it's gray brown, so it's not really all gray, but it gives a nice change. Uh, the other idea was to transfer some of this enamel stain into one of these for the same purpose. This is a gray one. So, I don't know. I got six. I might end up having to buy more <clears throat> just because they're... I have to see how they work out because I don't really know how the seals work as far as the... It should be fine because it's supposed to have nail polish in here. And nail polish is pretty strong. And that's a lacquer product. So, if you can hold up to that, they should hold up to a little enamel paint. What else I got in the goodie box? Uh, Yoohoo glue. Can't find this in stores. Arab writing. Made in dirt. Well, I guess. I'm assuming it's Arab writing. Don't hold that against me. I have no idea. Uh, made in Germany. So this glue, it, I've seen a lot of tutorials online where you use this glue because it, when it dries, it's like a gummy. And you can stretch it and do, you know, stretch it out and do like dripping blood effects. There's a whole bunch of things you can do with this one. So look up online, see if you can get it. Uh, this was, I don't know, six bucks or something like that, but I was surprised to even see it on there. So some ideas for that. That's gonna be more for miniature stuff. Um, now these two little other products I got today. Please ignore the loud heat machine behind me. These are punches. So. 
what I have, I use this little punch here to punch little circles. And it works out really well for, um, you know, punch. it punches through plastic card pretty easy. But I wanted some square ones. So these are squares. This one is a very small square. And this one is a half inch square. So I actually want to try these out right now and see how they work. And I'm going to use this for uh, scratch building stuff. You know, modding Gundam models, adding a little details here and there. Sometimes it's just a pain to try to get a perfect square. But it's boxes are in the open. And that's kind of cool. So I guess when you punch it, it gets trapped in that little container. Uh, let's see if we can get our mitts into this one here. Without hurting ourselves. Wow, this one's big. Not big. Uh, that should be interesting. Um, let's see. Let me try it out on a piece of cardstock. Let's see how this works. So how this works is you get unlock it. And I mean, cardstock would work good for also, you know, if you glue it down, get it thick enough. Oh, that's cool. Look, perfect square. So I guess with this now, I could cut this. Actually, you know what I could do? No, I can't get it in there. I could just take it and An angular cut or something, or yeah, a pair of scissors might be easier. I don't know, something like that. <clears throat> Put that glue it down to a shield or something, and do uh, some up armoring on a model. So that was this is I think 60 pound card. I have a 110 pound card that would work really well too. But let's try it with some 0.4 millimeter thick plastic card. Uh, okay. So let's try the little one. Uh, let's see. Uh, just unlock the ring. Yeah. That punched through. Hey, look at that. A little square. I want to make good use of this on uh, a lot of projects. But, I mean, look how cool that is. Let's try the big boy. <clears throat> this should definitely cut off here. Whoa! <laughs> We're flying. Plastic card. Uh, plot plate. I don't know. You can take it now and just trim it with scissors. What if I go like this and then like this and then like a little more like this. And then maybe take the corners off. And then I could glue that down. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it doesn't stick. Ugh, slammed it up. Slippery devil. That's not bad. Um, that's a little thin. Why don't we go up a level and see how this cuts through a thick piece. Alright, so this is a thick, definitely a thicker piece. You can see, compared to that one, way thicker. Uh, let's go. Let's try this out. This should work, actually. Oh, wait, that's the circle. Lock that in there. Ooh, um, alright. The small one made it through. 
not quite as clean, a little angled. Give that another go. Right in, so just do it right. Come on. Yeah, I mean the little one's a little tougher to get through, but I can get the little squares. That's cool. I like that. How about the big guy? Or big plating? Uh, come on. Uh, I'm inspired there. Whoa! Alright, so this one really flies. <laughs> away and I can't find it. So I'm gonna try <laughs> I'm gonna try that again. This time I'm gonna aim it down. There it is. Punch right through. Well it didn't punch right through but I mean it's definitely stronger, harder to cut through but it's a thicker piece of plate plastic and there's so a nice little square there for modding and cut it into whatever jigs and jags you need so also these are all on Amazon <clears throat> this one is the cure punch small and this one is elk tools medium I like this this is going to be coming very come in very handy uh, especially for some of those uh, little modding projects um, all right so let me bounce back to the converge figures because the reason I ordered these was because I like the idea of the I saw someone modify one of these mod one of these convert them converge conversion into like a, a towel power suit so I like the idea of that, but just for fun. I don't even play these games, to be honest with you. <clears throat> I just do this shit to entertain myself. Um, let me get this out of the way. Yeah, out of the way. Clear the space. So I opened up the tall geese. And it's a cute figure. They're very cute. But they're made of very hard plastic. So... In that sense, they're a little hard to work with. Let me focus here. All right, so you can see here, with the body's kind of cool. I mean, check out that the tall geese body, but I'm going to compare this to next to this phalanx miniature. The scale is not bad. I mean, you could do something with this for fun. I mean, I'm thinking about, I mean, here it looks like a battle pod. From Robotech, so that looks pretty cool. I mean, this body, this body's not bad at all. I mean, I'm even tempted to drop this in some silicone and make a mold of it and do a resin cast to do different kind of mods and stuff. Um, the only thing is, like, here's the problem with these figures: that they're like the SD figures, so they got the super deformed heads. I mean, <laughs> look at that noggin. The arms are okay. The hands are oversized. Um, if I was going to use the arms for something, for like a conversion, I would probably use different hands. Uh, this one has a little thruster pack. You can see it plugs in. And again, like I said, the plastic is weird because it's not like normal plastic. It's like really stiff plastic. I don't know if anybody's bought these before, but. It's kind of odd. I mean, this little wing broke off right out of the box, so I had to glue it back on. But let's say, all right, let me just do some fiddle in here. I want to turn this into like some kind of dust droid or I don't know, some kind of mech if I was going to play a tabletop game. But I'm not playing a tabletop game, so I don't care. <clears throat> what can I do with this? Um, give it a different head. Slice off that peg, maybe. This is a an assault kingdom head. It fits if you probably 
drop the peg down like to the edge or cut the peg out completely, you could glue the head on. I would probably make a mold of this and duplicate the head. Make a clone head and put that on. But I don't know, let's just look at that for now and just see what it looks like. Alright, he's cool. And then I like the idea of maybe throwing some other weapons on the arms. Let me do some blue tack in here. It, it would kind of look like a battle droid mixed with uh, a Battletech figure or something. So if I want to slap on, uh, I don't know, a heavy laser. Or some kind of chain gun. I don't know, that looks fun. A little different. Give them one color paint. I like the idea of maybe. Oh, what do we got here? Box O towel stuff. I had these, actually, check this out. I had these arms left over from another SD. I wonder if the pigs will fit. Eh, they kind of don't. That's eh, sort of. That would be something interesting. So what am I doing here? Uh, I think a towel head would work really cool on this. I think that's what a lot of people have been have done with this. Um, maybe one of these goofy looking sensors. I forgot what that one was called, but that would work on the head like that. Check that out. Turn it into a power suit of some type. Give it a backpack. <clears throat> what I want to do is mount a missile pod on the arm. So what if I did something like this? Give it a normal head. Something like that, and then slap on a chain gun. I don't know, they're cute, they have potential. But, I mean, the scale's not too weird, it's not that super deformed, but you could do some fun stuff with this. I don't know, let me open up another one, I want to check out these. Let's crack open <laughs> Blue Desk. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, all right. See, that's pretty cool. Nice. Got a hand of the sword. So I see some potential here already for conversions and fiddling about with other stuff. Right out of the box, that little shield. I like that for other applications. Man, these things are stiff. I wish the head was... I wish I could shrink the head down because the head alone is just cool enough where I could... <laughs> it would work. The body is really excellent on this one. Check that out. Stripping everything right. Look, it's got the deep back. There's the scale. That scale is really on. I mean, look at... If you didn't know that this was a super deformed, would you know that this was not something from like a mech game? Once you get this, like a coat of paint and give it some cool weapon arms. Or just cut those hands off. I'd say I cut those hands off and find smaller hands. I think that the uh, Assault Kingdom hands would actually work perfectly for this. Let me try this. What if I do... What if we do a slap them? What is this? I don't even know. Plasma cannon. Alright, so that doesn't look great, but it doesn't look terrible. But 
if you mounted it on this arm without the hand, then you get it cooking with something. Yeah. There we got something. Something like that, maybe. Or cut that arm off. Yeah, I really dig these. I'm going to have fun with these. Um, four bucks a pop. Anybody doing <clears throat> Robotech RPG tactics or something like that? Take a look at these. The conversion possibilities. If you're a guy like me and you like to chop stuff up and slap things around, you know. He's got real potential. Or even like a Battletech dude. Check that out. I don't know. So that's my thoughts. That's my Sunday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow up with this. Put a enamel wash in here. Try it out. Maybe make one. I'm thinking about... I was trying to make my own oil wash here. That was thin enough. I might just make a big batch of this and fill this bottle up. I don't know. Let's see what we do with the rest of our day. All right, folks. That's Mike. Mr. Mike's Hobby Channel, and that's going to be the rest of my day. I'll come back and update with any kind of little project results. Bye.